So today, we're going to uh, lead off with Andre Fuich from AT&T, to be followed by Guru Palakar from ONF, and then Shailish um, Shukla from Google. Andre is the president of AT&T Labs and the CTO of AT&T. Andre oversees global technology direction for AT&T, including network planning, the company's innovation roadmap, AT&T Labs, and his responsibilities include spearheading the design of next generation 5G networks and software-defined initiatives. Andre is also the chair of the ONF board and the chair of the ORAN Alliance. And so Andre is a true champion for open source and it's with great pleasure that I welcome Andre back to share his insights with our community. So Andre, welcome and please take it away. Okay, hey, thank you, Timon. And uh, welcome everyone. Um, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe during this uh, unprecedented uh, year. Um, it's, uh, it's really great to be with you all here, although it's virtual, uh, I still hope uh, this will be an impactful session for all of you. Um, you know, COVID-19 uh, has without a doubt changed the world and the engines of commerce and the rhythms of our daily lives have been flipped on their heads. But one thing has remained unchanged, and, um, and that is AT&T's commitment to keeping our customers connected. Um, and the work we do at AT&T is, is really critical to millions of people, businesses, and of course, first responders. So no pressure, right? So here we are, nine months into COVID, um, and I'm really proud to say that uh, our AT&T network withstood the test of time and moving the American workforce out of busy office workspaces and transitioning to supporting them from their new home office uh, 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 offices that are far more widespread. And while we didn't see COVID coming, um, I don't think anyone could have honestly, um, but what we've done is to build and invest in a network over the past several years that really paid dividends during this crisis. Um, AT&T has invested over uh, $100 billion over the past five years into our U.S. wireless and wireline networks to help build a very robust network with self-healing architectures and open standards and software that really helped us uh, get ready as best we could for this unforeseen moment in history. Um, so when it comes to our network, even without COVID, we were carrying more data than ever before. In fact, our global network carries more than 393 petabytes of data traffic on an average day. And that's up 20% compared to pre-pandemic figures, uh, which you can see depicted in this chart. As you can tell, there was a major spike once COVID hit the US and the majority of American workers began shifting to a work from home model. And we don't expect that growth will slow anytime soon. You know, with Americans continuing to work and school from home, we anticipate these numbers will continue to rise, meaning more demand on our network, making it all the more critical that we continue to get it right. You know, during the pandemic, customers have twice set a record for text messaging. During the March spring break timeframe and on Easter weekend, people sent more than 23,000 text messages per second across the AT&T network. The previous peak, which was pre-pandemic, was about 15,000 texts per second. That's an increase of about 53% in peak times. That's basically three years of growth in just one week. Um, also on the wireless uh, side, on wireless voice, uh, we experienced voice usage that soared with a nearly 40% increase as people began to work from home and use their mobile devices to attend meetings and connect with colleagues. And maybe surprisingly to some, um, mobile data volumes uh, uh, have slightly decreased uh, during the first part of COVID-19, since many people are connecting their smartphones to their home Wi-Fi networks throughout the day. Um, I'd be remiss not to mention that the first responders who are the true heroes 
of the past nine months. Um, I can't imagine what it's like to drive to work every day knowing your health and quite frankly, your life is on the line. And AT&T has a stake in our first responders. We, we built a network dedicated to them. It's called FirstNet. And thanks to unique benefits like dedicated connectivity when needed and also uh, always on priority and preemption and high quality band 14 spectrum. FirstNet is one of the fastest networks out there with more than uh, 1.7 million connections on FirstNet. We're seeing first responders consume more than twice as much data as our general consumers, reinforcing the need and importance of having a network purpose built for public safety. Um, our AT&T network uh, was able to withstand the unprecedented new normal demands during COVID thanks to the investment we made and the behind the scenes work we put into our open initiatives uh, over the past decade. Um, so just as COVID has given us an unprecedented 2020, uh, so did 5G. Uh, 2020 was the breakout year for 5G in the United States, and that will position our network for new norms into the coming decade. 5G will ultimately enable a variety of applications requiring enhanced mobile broadband, ultra uh, reliability, low latency communications, and of course, massive machine type communications. These types of applications will be part of the B2B and the B2C uh, that we've all been waiting for and will be enabled by a connected set of federated clouds that operate from the customer edge to the network edge and all the way to the centralized public clouds. 5G is accelerating the growth of both private and public networks towards software defined and cloud native enabling more control automation and giving rise to new generations of autonomous services innovations enabled by both machine learning and AI. Driving innovations will demand openness in the ecosystem. The need of having an open architecture and open APIs to enable interoperable applications, both for the cloud and network. Scaling those innovations at cost-effective price points will require private clouds to support disaggregation of hardware from software and the ability to run enterprise workloads on commodity hardware with the use of accelerators. Operators and cloud service providers are collaborating to meet the growing demand for private 5G and edge cloud for enterprise. AT&T has made a number of announcements with cloud service providers to enable and fuel this ecosystem using edge clouds sitting within the customer premises that connect with network edge cloud residing within AT&T hub locations and data centers. Connected edge cloud with private 5G will enable a variety of intelligent and data intensive applications, including advanced video surveillance, autonomous robots and drones, and content and transaction processing closer to the customer edge. For enterprise customers to fully capture the value of edge cloud with private 5G, there needs to be standards in place that adopt open interfaces in the RAN and core and encourage the use of open source and interoperable applications. Now, several standards and open source efforts are enabling this transformation, including 3GPP, the ORAN Alliance, the Open Compute Project, the ORAN Open Source Community, TIP, Linux Foundation, and of course, ONF. Through standards and openness, we will be able to support 5G standalone and millimeter wave capabilities and enable applications to dynamically create and manage and be managed through network slicing. Back in 2018, five operators from across the globe joined together to announce the formation of the ORAN Alliance. The ORAN Alliance has grown from those five founding members to over 230 companies today 
including 27 operators that span the globe. The ORAN Alliance is aligned with the three GPP specifications and aims to develop architectures and specifications to encourage rapid and broad industry promotion and adoption of open standards and interfaces, embedded intelligence, software-based functions and microservices, including open source, and open disaggregated hardware for radio access networks. To encourage the implementation of open modules, ORAN worked with the Linux Foundation, a global open source leader, to create the ORAN software community, or as we call it, the OSC. ORAN has also engaged in a great partnership with ONF to help accelerate the development specifications and open interfaces of the Radio Access Network Intelligent Controller. Now, smart enterprise transformations um, are gonna be required to move towards more connected edge private clouds. And this is a, a really big opportunity for all of us. 5G will ultimately enable intelligence through mixed reality, machine learning AI, and of course, IoT. Now, ONF Ether is one example of a managed cloud that can play a central role in accelerating this transformation by providing a cloud native open source platform. This platform will drive an ecosystem of enterprise edge applications and can be empowered by open disaggregated compute with optimized hardware supporting a variety of CPUs, GPUs, TPUs, and others. The Ether platform, along with ONF's SD-RAN for open RAN controller of mobile core user plane, will provide an end-to-end -end enterprise architecture for supporting 5G mobile traffic on CBRS uh, or license bands. Here at at and we are working with these open source and standards community, along with the vendor community to scale out 5G, AI, and private clouds for enterprise customers. The at and 5G Innovation Studio is working closely with consumer and enterprise clients to demonstrate and develop services and experiences based on the convergence of 5G, the connected edge, and of course, with AI. We are currently exploring over 20 different applications. So for example, we have an active 5G trial underway with a large home appliance manufacturer, which is utilizing 5G and AI for remote control over autonomous guided vehicles. AI is used to control the movements and the actions of these robotic warehouse vehicles where processing is happening in an on-premises edge cloud infrastructure connected via 5G. So the synergies of 5G, private connected cloud and machine learning and AI will only accelerate innovations and productivity in the enterprise sector. This transformation has already started. Operators such as AT&T and cloud providers are working together to meet this demand. Openness is critical in accelerating this enterprise transformation with organizations such as ORAN Alliance, 3GPP, and of course, ONF is paving the way. The enterprise transformation will enable new e economics and growth opportunities for businesses across the globe to better interact with each other and serve their customers. So in conclusion, I would like to thank the greater ONF uh, community, and I especially want to thank Guru and his great leadership for all the hard work and support in this very challenging year. And I want to thank all of you for joining today, and I wish you all a happy and safe holiday season.